I'm Maddie and welcome back to my channel. Today I've come to Eureka, the National Children's Museum, to ask the question, why do we lose our baby teeth? But first things first, what are teeth and what do we use them for? Hmm. Most importantly, we need them to eat. They help us to tear and chew our food into smaller pieces so that it's easier to swallow. But they're also important because without teeth, I'd find it much harder to do what I'm doing now, and that is talking to you. Teeth help us to form sounds in our mouths as we speak. So if you've ever lost both of your front teeth, you might have found it harder to say your S's, and it makes you speak with a lisp where you say, instead of and of course a big toothy grin helps us to show people that we're happy it's why we say cheese when we take photographs because the e sound helps us to flash our front teeth but even the toothiest cheesiest grin wouldn't reveal to us that our teeth are actually made up of layers this is an incisor they're at the front of our mouths and they help us to bite and then the sharpest tooth in our mouth is the canine that's these ones and they help us to tear and then last but not least we've got molars and molars help us to grind and chew food but we can look inside this one the outer layer of a tooth is called the enamel and it's the strongest thing in our entire body it's even stronger than our bones but if I open up the molar, we can now see the layers inside. Now this yellow part, this inner layer, is called dentin. And it's pretty strong, it's just not quite as tough as the enamel. And then inside here, we've got a fleshy part called pulp. And it's full of blood vessels and nerves. So it's super, super sensitive. And then finally, these pointy parts here, this is the root of the tooth. And it's the root's job to hold your tooth securely in your gum, but also to hopefully help it to grow in the right direction. Baby's teeth begin to develop before they're even born. However, they usually start to show when the child is between six and 12 months old. Now, most children will have a full set of 20 baby teeth or milk teeth when they're about three. However, when they hit five or six, those same teeth start to wobble and fall out. Why is that? Let me explain. When we're younger, we have a smaller jaw and we tend to eat softer foods, so we need fewer smaller teeth. But as we grow older, we get bigger, we start to eat tougher foods, we need more, bigger, stronger teeth. Our second set of teeth, called adult teeth, grow below our baby ones. And when they're growing, they start to push on the roots of the baby tooth. Now, this action makes these roots dissolve. That means they start to break into lots of tiny pieces and wear away. And a tooth without a root to hold it securely in place will start to wobble till it falls out. And that will make room for this new adult tooth to pop up out of the gum. Now, apparently, one of these teeth in this giant mouth is wobbly, so I'm gonna try and find it. wobbly one so our teeth wobble and fall out to make a space for our adult teeth to push up through our gums but once we've got a full set of adult teeth we've got them for life so it's really important we look after them so all of that chowing down on food does mean that sometimes little bits will get stuck between the gaps and spaces in your teeth and there's something that loves your leftovers just as much as you and that is bacteria and bacteria are the tiny microscopic germs in our mouths now we can't see them but trust me there are loads of them and they love those little bits of leftover food particularly sugary things and we call this buildup of bacteria plaque and sometimes if we don't brush our teeth it sort of feels a little bit sticky and furry but a buildup of plaque isn't a good thing when all of that built up bacteria, the plaque is nibbling away on those sugars, it releases acid and acid is really bad for our teeth. It can give us things like sore gums or even make holes in the enamel, which we call cavities. And that's not good because it reveals the sensitive pulp on the inside layer of our teeth. So that's why it's really important that we look after both our baby teeth 
and our adult teeth. But the good news is that there's a really simple way to do that, and that's brushing them twice a day. When you brush your teeth, you want to make sure you've got the right sort of toothbrush for your age and the right amount of toothpaste. And then brushing in small circles, you want to cover every single tooth. You can go from the back to the front, on the top and the bottom. Then brush on the top of those molars. And you can even turn your toothbrush to get to those hard to reach places like the back of our teeth there. Brushing for about two minutes in the morning and the evening will be just the right amount of time. And then when you're finished, you spit out the toothpaste and you're all done. So there you go. That's why we lose our baby teeth and why it's important to look after them and keep them clean. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more just like this. And as always, stay curious. Bye.